we have a wheel rotating with constant angular acceleration. It requires four seconds to rotate through 30 revolutions. Its angular speed at the end of the four seconds interval is 90 radians per second. Find the angular acceleration. Let us write the given here. Well, first we know that the angular acceleration is constant. This allows us to use the kinematic equations. We're told that it requires four seconds to rotate through 30 revolutions. So 30 revolutions, so how many radians is that? So delta theta, so in time, is four seconds. Delta theta, that is the angle through which the wheel rotates, it rotates 30 revolutions. But each revolution is 2 pi radians. So I can multiply by 2 pi radians divided by one revolution. Each revolution is 2 pi radians. So 2 pi radians divided by one revolution is just one. So this gives me 60 pi radians. So the angular displacement is 60 pi radians. So given the time, is four seconds, I know the angular displacement. We know that delta theta is omega zero t plus half alpha t square. So now, wh why do I know this? Because alpha is constant. So I can use the kinematic equation. I know delta theta, and I know t. Alpha is unknown, and so is omega zero. If that's all I'm given, of course, I cannot find alpha. But I'm given something else. We're told that the angular speed at the end of the four-second interval is 90 radians per second. So we know that omega is equal to omega zero plus alpha t. So we're given omega, 90 radians per second, and we're given t, it's four seconds. So I have now another equation with the unknowns being omega zero and alpha. So I have two equations and two unknowns. The two unknowns are omega zero and alpha. So we can solve them. Let us do it. Delta theta is 60 pi. It's omega zero times t, which is four. So that's four omega zero plus half alpha, t squared is 16, so this is plus 8 alpha. Omega is 90 radians per second, so that's 90, is omega 0 plus alpha times 4, plus 4 alpha. I want to find alpha. So multiply this by four, this becomes 360 equals four omega zero plus 16 alpha. Now subtract these two. So I get 360 minus 60 pi 
this is equal to the omega 0 cancels now. So I'm left with 8 alpha. Therefore, alpha is 360 minus 60 pi divided by 8. This is in radians per second squared. Now, 60 pi is about 189 or 188. It's between 188 and 189. So 360 minus that is about 170, 172 divided by 8, that's about 21 and a half. Approximately. So that's the angular acceleration. I can go back if I want and plug into any of these equations, this one or that one, and I can get omega zero.